so you're ready to take a leap of faith. The big question, how to take a leap of faith? Let's find out. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can take a leap of faith. It's a lot involved, but let's just start off simple on how to get started. In the process of trying to take a leap of faith, it's good to start off by thinking, keeping it simple. Think. Think and reflect on your life right now. How are you living? Are you living comfortably? Are you living kind of stressed? Are you just in this flow of like you don't really know what's happening in your life? Did you just complete something? School, college, a job? Did you quit? You're thinking about quitting. You're quitting? What? You're thinking about quitting. Where are you in your life right now? Think about it. Reflect. You can't really go anywhere if you're just running into nothing, into nothingness. It's good to know where you are so that you know where you're going. And sometimes we don't want to do this. We don't want to think. We don't want to be in our own thoughts because then you might not be the most positive person in the world and your thoughts are usually, you're not this and you're not that. But that's okay because once you start getting comfortable in your thoughts, you're able to control them a lot more and you're able to speak positivity into your life a lot more. Be nice to yourself. In this thinking process, you're also going to think about your comfort zone. Where do you feel comfortable and where do you feel uncomfortable? So for instance, your comfortability could be in your job. You feel comfort in your job. You feel comfortable that you're gonna get a paycheck. You feel comfortable that, that's about it. Sometimes that's about it. You feel comfortable in your paycheck. That's your comfortability. So your uncomfortability will be not always knowing where your money comes from. So think about what makes you comfortable. And then also after you do that, think about all the things that make you comfortable. How much do you love them? Or is the only purpose because it's comfort? You know, it needs to be more than just the comfort to create balance. So when you're thinking, I want you to also think about how are you growing? Are you at a standstill in your life? What can you do to allow yourself to grow and learn more? How can you answer those what ifs in your life? What if I do this? What if I do that? It's time to answer those. And in life, we have two paths. Whenever you make a decision, you have the comfort, secure way to do it, or you have the scary, a little bit of risky way to do it. So when you're taking a leap of faith, you gotta veer a this way a little bit more. Actually, a lot bit more. You gotta just take the scary, risky route. Especially if the scary road is a couple of things. Because you're afraid, because you feel like you don't have enough money, or because you feel like it's too late or you don't have enough time. If those are three any indications on why you're not going the scary, riskier route, then you definitely need to do it. So after you self-reflect and accepted the thoughts that are going on in your head, it is time to explore. All right, this is the process of taking a leap of faith. So you've thought about it, you reflected, you know where your comfort zones are and all that. I'm gonna have another video about stepping outside of your comfort zone, but this is all about faith. So acknowledging your comfort zone is a process of that. Then after you think, it's time to explore. Explore those areas of your life that you maybe just didn't, that you didn't explore. So maybe you went to college and you studied biology and then now you work at something that has nothing to do with biology but biology was interesting to you you loved studying certain things in biology so explore those areas again just because you went to college and you're not doing anything with it doesn't mean you can't still explore those areas go in atmospheres that have biology involved let's just say as somebody has no idea about biology I'm gonna I live in San Diego I'm gonna throw out sea world maybe that's somewhere you've literally never gone and you live around in a place where you can just explore be a kid again in that environment explore if you're into tech and you used to love tech and all that other stuff but the way your life is right now there's no technology involved besides your cell phone and your laptop immerse yourself in that atmosphere if you live in LA you can go to Disneyland as much as it's about the rides and stuff there's a huge aspect of technology that's involved immerse yourself explore in that area that you've never dabbled in but thought about that you've always did and then you stopped explore that area explore it with books podcasts going to those places visiting those places whatever it is if it's traveling go travel explore the areas and how you can travel. Explore the thought of it. Some of it takes action and some of it literally takes sitting at your laptop and exploring what is out there. Explore, look, 
step out of the box of your everyday, I do this Monday to Friday, I do this on weekends, step out of your routine and explore the area that you are interested in, that you've always been interested in, or that you've never done anything in before, but you're just meditating, you wanna, you know, see what it's like. Definitely believe in that phrase, faith without works is dead, because the works are exploring. Do, do things and actually explore them. Don't just keep them in your mind. And sometimes we do things all in our mind and you've already tried that thing and failed all in your mind and you physically haven't even gotten up. Get up, get up, try, explore, have fun. <sighs> Live life. Next is time to meditate and pray. You might be the type of person that's like, I pray and meditate all the time. Or the complete opposite saying, uh, Hallie, I don't need to pray and meditate. Hey, don't do that. Okay, whatever type of person you are, to take a leap of faith, it literally requires meditating and praying. Because when you meditate and pray, you silence the noise around you. It's easy to take decisions and make decisions in your life with all that noise around you. It's like, whatever, yeah, I'm going. But when you take a leap of faith, it's a huge risk. It's a jump. You're not walking, you're literally jumping. So if you have a lot of distractions around you, you're gonna fall ridiculously at a moment where you might not have needed to fall. You would have landed on your feet if you just closed your mind to the outside thoughts around you. For me, I pray. Jesus is the one that tells me where to go. But some of you meditate. Some of you meditate and pray. Whatever your jam is or whatever you've never done before, explore how to meditate, how to pray. Well, that's in another video because I have to move on. It's also a way to connect with your spirit and your soul. You ever hear the concept mind, body, and soul? Kind of like on my channel. It's the connection with your mind, body, and soul creates balance. So if you got your mind going and your body's great, what about your soul? What about listening to that? Some of us listen to it all the time. Some of us has never even tapped into our soul. But a way to really acknowledge it and to give it some attention is to meditate and pray. So let's think about this. If you don't meditate and pray, I'm talking to you right now. Or if I'm talking to you, let me remind you. You ever eat something and you're satisfying, in your mind you're thinking, I want this. So then you satisfy your thought and you listen to it and you obey it. Then your body, you eat something. And then even when you're about to get it, you feel like, oh, I probably shouldn't be doing this. I'm gonna do it anyways, because you know how we are. We're like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And then you feel bad about it. Like you did, you made a decision, you satisfied your body, but there's something in you that was like, feel bad. There was something in you that was telling you not to do it. It's like that. Sometimes it's that. Listen to that. That's not, we call it something. It's our spirit. It's our soul. All right. So start to listen to it. Start to give it some attention. Doing this will help create you in a path of balance. Being more balanced in the chaos of your life. Because when you're taking a leap of faith, this is not the time to listen to the advice of everybody around you. It's not because this isn't a step. It's great to take advice from people when you're walking through and you're making decisions on life and you're walking. But it takes a leap of faith that's between you and God and your faith and what you believe in. Nobody else because advice is to make wise decisions when you take a leap of faith. It's about taking a risk in what you believe in your soul and your spirit and nobody else can tell you about your own gut, soul, spirit feeling, you know? And then it's time to jump. Oh. Leap, go, do. All right, so in taking a leap of faith, you actually have to jump. As much as you wanna take baby steps, it's time to jump. You've thought about it, you've explored, you meditate and pray. You have confirmation that it is time to do something. So do it. And to do this, you have to forget the step and take the jump, take the leap. You gotta skip a few steps to do this. For instance, I'll use myself for example. There's been a couple times in my life where I've had to take a leap of faith that was scary. And if I logistically listened to the logistics of it all, I would have not done it. I would have been like, no, 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 you know? One example is when I quit my, one of my dream jobs. I've had amazing jobs. I have amazing jobs now, or careers or gigs or whatever you want to call them, the things that I do. Um, so I was living in LA 
working for Disney ABC, living my dream job, loved it, was like, it doesn't get any better than this. This is the life, this is how you live, you know? After, I think it was about six years, uh, I felt in my soul, in my spirit, I just felt that it was time to go. And I was like, when I heard that, I was like, ooh, that's the, and it, ooh, what was that? That's just hate, I'm hating on myself. Like, who does that, you know? I was telling myself like, no, maybe I'm just thinking horrible things, because why would I ever want to leave my dream job? And then I was on air, radio personality for Disney, for, for Radio Disney and ABC. And I just felt that this was, I was at a point to where I couldn't grow anymore. There were situations around me that were stunting my growth and allowing me to do things in my life that allowed me to feel balance and really exploring and exercising the other talents that I had. And I've reached a cap to where I wasn't able to do that anymore. And it was time to go. I kept saying, okay, I know it's time to go, but I'll wait till this, this, and this happens. And then it all happened. And then I was like, okay, what about if this happens? And then it happened. Literally, I was just trying to find a way to avoid it because I was like, but I'm so happy. Because sometimes taking a leap of faith doesn't mean you have to be sad. You can be really happy and still need to take a leap of faith. So I was happy with what I did, but I wasn't actually happy with other things. I wasn't, it wasn't perfect and I wanted it to be perfect. I wanted to just feel, there wasn't peace. I was, I was happy with what was happening in my life, but I didn't feel peace within myself about it. So anyways, long story short, I took a trip to Hawaii. Had some, I went into an atmosphere where I can just think and explore and not be in the job. I came back and I quit and I was like, who quits without having a backup plan? Who quits without having a job? That was my leap of faith where I was like, ah, and then I had no job. So my leap of faith, at first I wanted to create my own leap of faith. I was like, okay, I'm gonna quit, but I don't have a backup plan. I'm gonna have another job, like, you know? And then that wasn't working out and I was like, oh no, this is like legit gonna have to be a leap of faith. So then I did it. Long story short, that will be in another video because all my leap of faiths are a whole story in itself, but we don't have time for that today. I quit and I did not have a backup plan. I didn't have anything. I literally was just living life for about a year or so. And where I am now in my life, where I feel so fulfilled, so at peace, so at balance, happier than I ever thought I could be, where on the outside, when I had that job, I seemed to the outside world a lot happier there. Um, and I didn't know the life that I live now was possible. So when you take a leap of faith, you don't know where the floor is. You don't know where you're gonna land. For me, when I quit, I didn't know where my next was. That's where the faith has to come into play. You have to believe it's possible. You have to take a risk. And if you fall, it, the leap of faith wasn't in vain. It wasn't. It's, it's all part of the journey. It's all part of the process. So if you take a leap of faith, and then like for me, when I took a leap of faith, I was jumping and I was like, what's, I've, I haven't landed. I, what's the next? I had no next for like a year, you know? Sometimes it's shorter for people, sometimes it's longer, but whatever it is, feel good about it. Be at a place to where there'll be no regret. Cause you know this saying, tomorrow is not promised. So live your days like that. When there are opportunities for you to take that risk, take that risk, take that leap of faith. Believe in yourself. Sometimes we always think, you know, it's fun to think anything's possible. That's such a fun, exciting quote and feeling to have. But sometimes when you think anything's possible, you also think anything is possible. Like you can go, this can fail, I'll mess up on that, that's not gonna work out, what if, all these what ifs. But when you're taking a leap of faith, surround and saturate yourself in what ifs that are positive. Well, what if this can happen? Embrace the unknown as a good thing because in the unknown, anything is possible. So let's say disappointment is gonna be something that comes along the way, right? Wait till it actually happens to be disappointed. Studies say that we worry about things that most of the time never even happen. It's a waste of a worry. Save your worries for when it actually happens and then don't even worry about it. Accept it and be like, all right, this is what we're gonna do about it. It makes you a stronger person. It makes you a person that's not taking on all this stress. When you take leaps of faith, regularly or more than once in your life, stress is like something that you can just be like, psh, psh, psh. do you know what I did? Like, pa, traffic, pa, losing job, pa, car breaking down. Like those things are nothing when you start taking leaps of faith because you're just like a little faith warrior. You're just like jumping and leaping through. You know, the things that are against you need to catch up because you're pushing through. 
And I can go on and on about this, but I'm gonna stop this right here. So, you're gonna think, right? You're gonna explore that area and you're going to pray and meditate about it, get confirmation about it, look at those signs, and then you're gonna jump, leap, go, do, be productive, start to multitask, focus, all those things. And if you're wondering, how do you do all those things? You might already have the answers, but if you could use some help, I got some videos of those all coming up to help you along the way on this journey of this chaotic life while you try to create a little balance along the way. Saying it is the first step. So in the comments below, maybe you just need to say yes. Say yes, I'm doing it. Time to think, time to explore. You're actually meditating and praying for the first time. What is it that you're doing? Feel free to share below if you have any questions about anything, honestly. I'll answer them. Until the next video that I'm really excited about. Peace. This is not peace. Until the next video, peace, love, and balance. Take in a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. That's not good.